30. Happening soon in Lexington, police officers will gather on Main Street for a ceremony honoring the life of Officer Brian Derman, who was killed in the line of duty nine years ago today. Mike Valenti takes a look back on the night so many in this community will never forget. That's our LEX 18 Big Story at 530. When 27-year-old officer Brian Derman was dispatched to investigate a noise complaint, there was no reason to think he wouldn't come home. It's with great sadness that I inform you that a member of the Lexington Division of Police has, lo has lost one of its officers in the line of duty. When Officer Derman got out of his cruiser on North Limestone, a driver struck and killed him. The man behind the wheel, Glenn Donahue, then drove off. He was ultimately convicted of second-degree manslaughter. The pain of losing her husband has been exacerbated over the years, as Brandy Derman has had to watch the man responsible for her husband's death appear before parole boards, asking for an early release. Where's the justice in letting Mr. Donahue go free? My husband did never get a second chance. Those requests have been denied, and today a law bearing Brian Derman's name requires anyone convicted of second-degree manslaughter of a clearly identified police officer or firefighter to serve 85% of the sentence. But ironically, because that law passed after Donahue was sentenced, it didn't apply to him. But tonight, the name on everyone's minds is Brian Derman. Officers will remember their fallen colleague at 7 at the Police and Fire Memorial on Main Street. Covering the news in Lexington, Mike Valenti, LEX 18.